nice floor game from, from a point guard, from a solid point guard in terms of he had 18 points in under 23 minutes, six assists, and one turnover. He was pushing the pace. Um, he was great with you know, that group in there. And uh, he really helped us in a number of ways, especially in the fourth quarter. You could see you know, where, where a guy like that would, would be missed. Um, the way he was able to s settle us down, get into you know a pick and roll action, get in the teeth of the paint, make decisions. Um, you know, a big credit to him for for being ready. And um, you know, I was wrong in terms of four games and having some rust. He was huge credit to him. Uh, I know they scored a lot of points, but do you feel like you're seeing defensively some strides being made in terms of the way that you're making some rotations and and, and covering for each other in key moments? I do, and I, I think a number of those points were towards the end. Um, two and you know they did only have 19 points in the fourth quarter uh, we don't like the 35 and 36 point quarters those are the ones that hurt us but uh, you know we, we there's a, a number of really good things that we're doing defensively following up on that a little bit uh, Jeff off the bench with some of those guys who are not natural scores is that something you stay with I don't know I'm I'm just happy that we won right at the moment and that we played well um you know the winning takes care of itself if you do the little things right and those guys are fully bought in to that um but you know like whatever we do moving forward as a, as a group we do it as a group and you know i i'm going i'm going to bring it up again and because it because it is a real thing you have guys in noah vonley and gorgie jang who both deserve solid minutes and they've we've tried to give um Teams different looks when when Cat isn't on the floor in terms of you know Noah's a little bit quicker, Gorgie protects the rim a little better. They both have some strengths, but that's just a point that the fact that those guys give themselves up for the group, and the fact that they want each other to do well, that's just what that locker room is. So whatever we do in terms of lineup, starting lineup, end of the game lineup, these guys have been great in terms of wanting to help each other. You think Jake's starting to find his stride within this team and this scheme as far as kind of what his role is and where he fits in? Yeah, I absolutely do. And he, uh, you know, he's seven for nine. It's efficient. Um, you know, the way he's, uh, he's moving, I mean, he's, he's full speed offensively, defensively, north, south, and east, west. So everything he does is, is with force, which, which is something we talk about a lot as a team. So he is a system guy, and he's, um, he's been able to flourish lately. Just with uh, Jared as the starting point guard tonight, do you get the sense that the, the game is really slowing down for him just to go out to win a matchup against yeah. a tough defender and yeah. DeJounte Murray, mm -hmm. the backdoor cuts, yeah. the block shots? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you feel like everything is slowing down? It's coming together for him? Yeah, I do, and, and I'm, I'm glad you bring that up, John, though, in terms of um, positions because we don't necessarily talk about positions. Like, you know, Wig, Wig could be the starting po point guard. Um, you know, right now, JC could be the starting point guard at the moment. Um, but when we started Josh the other night, you can say Josh was the starting point guard. So, like, with the way we're playing, all those guys are able to handle. So it's, it's almost positionless, but we do have one big in there at all times. I know we've seen some in, in some numbers crunches where we've played more two bigs. But um, for the most part, we have wings who can all handle. And then, you know, you got a big in there. Um, but as to your question, J Jared is finding his stride. I think things are slowing down for him, especially off of pick and rolls. Um, you're seeing some of the things that he was great at at Texas Tech in terms of the way he was able to freeze defenders, um, the way he was able to get to the rim. Um, and then he's, he's able to see the floor, too. Uh, you know, and he's, he's, he wants to be coached hard, too. I mean, that's, that's in, and, he's, uh, and he's responding. Defensively, kind of where's P you know, in terms of being a rookie in the league and trying mm -hmm. to grasp everything that you're trying to do. Yeah, you know, there's room for improvement uh, with all of us. Uh, but, you know, there's room for growth there. And he's going to be a high-level elite defender in this league. And he's, uh, he's learning, you know, there's so many different coverages. I mean, you know, I'll let you guys try, try to figure it out. But we did a number of different things tonight, um, off the ball, on the ball, um, you know, with different numbers, you know, one through four, three through five things like that because San Antonio is a good basketball team and you know they've they've been very um, you know they the ball is moving I mean the cutters are moving so we wanted to try to keep a blue shirt on a white shirt and he's, he's learning with all that you guys are now seven and oh when you win the rebounding battle um, is that a point of emphasis uh, coincidence in mm -hmm. your eyes and are you surprised at how well you've been able to rebound uh, yeah. early in the year um, first you know it's always a point of emphasis to rebound in this league 
Uh, we do talk about it a good amount. Um, but at this point, you know, I know it's still, it's, I keep saying it, it is still early and we're 11 games in, but you know, with as much as we're together, nothing surprises me with that group anymore in terms of exceeding expectations or no matter what size the, the guy is or, um, and I'll just say, you know, it's, I thought we had a, a great crowd, you know, for a snowy day and, you know, a Wednesday night, um, you know, but, you know, hey, if you haven't watched us much like these guys are these guys are fun to be around they're fun to you, you feel the energy so coming out to the target center is it's fun how much growth have you seen from andrew in terms of passing i, I think he had seven assists tonight he's yeah. had five or more assists in six of his last seven games just how yeah. much growth have you seen there as, as of late yeah a big big uh you know there's there's a lot of growth there i mean he's it's something we talked about a lot this summer and you know i mean it's you know we want him to continue to play this way, um, we understand it. You know, the the season ebbs and flows, uh, so there will be ups, there will be downs. Um, you know, but he uh, he's playing at a high level right now. Um, but it's because the little things are are getting taken care of, so the big things can be taken care of. What did you think of the fan reaction when he checked out for the last time and kind of got a standing ovation? Yeah, I mean, I love it. I love when any one of our guys um, gets you know what they they deserve in terms of. Um, applause from, from, from the crowd. Uh, but, you know, you guys can go back and look at things I've said about Andrew, and everybody knows how I feel about him. So that, that's how I felt. With him, the shot selection, the creation for others, his decisiveness, the, the little, little things he's doing with, like, the hustle plays on the glass and everything, what excites you most about what you've seen from him earlier this year? That he wants to do the things that, that it takes to win. Bottom line, and I can go. I can go to Cat with that too. You know, we were just in the locker room, and you know, hey, when we the first time when when we all came in there as coaches, you know, Cat's shouting out the other guys, uh, in in the room. You know, Jake, Jeff, JC, Wig. You know, Wig. Hey, Wig is not a big talker. He's shouting other guys out. This team is connected, and uh, that's just a credit to those guys as individuals and as people.